you could potentially and very easily get the same images that you would want to see with a transesophageal echocardiogram with an AccuNav-V four-dimensional probe. Have we done that? Yes. We've done about 15 cases so far. Most of them have been with local anesthesia and contra sedation. We've done about 15 odd cases with the AccuNav-V and our success rate's been fantastic. Our patients have done well. Very, very elderly patients have done even better because they were breathing on their own while we were doing this procedure. So just imagine how many surgical aortic valve replacements would one be able to do in a day? Well, maybe two, maybe one. Well, I've rarely heard of people doing three surgical aortic valve replacements in a day. The same thing holds true for percutaneous aortic valve replacement. Well, guess what? We did four percutaneous aortic valve replacements in one day, and we were done by 5 o'clock. How were we able to accomplish that? The reason why we were able to accomplish that is because the ease of flow, the ease of the workflow that occurred because patients were not being prepped for general anesthesia, they were not being put down to sleep. The anesthesiologist who was taking care of the first patient is also going to take care of your next patient. They want to make sure that the very old patient who just got a percutaneous aortic valve replacement is going to wake up appropriately, is hemodynamically stable, and is not going to leave that first patient to bring your second patient in. But if the patient was pretty much awake to begin with, that job becomes a lot easier on his or her part. And therefore, the workflow, the speed with which you can turn the room around, bring the next patient in, becomes much faster. And it's very time efficient, you can treat more patients in one day, and from a pure financial perspective, it makes perfect sense. One might add as to, well, how about the cost of this very fancy four-dimensional intracardiac echo probe? It's not a cheap device. You are adding this on to a very expensive procedure already in a very sick patient in a very elderly patient, how do you justify that? How do you justify it to the administrators in your hospital? How do you justify it to Medicare? How do you justify it to the third party payer who's gonna pay for it? Well, the important thing to understand here is, and the most important thing to understand here is, that the person who comes first is the patient. The safety of the patient comes first. The finances come second. Now, having said that, if you look at the flow by which you can do four or maybe five percutaneous aortic valve replacements in one day, you are actually saving money by doing more procedures in that time frame because the next day, instead of doing the remaining percutaneous aortic valve replacements, that room, that anesthesiologist, the nursing staff, the OR staff, your own time can be used to be more productive in doing something else. Thirdly, and more importantly, the way the healthcare economics are actually panning out is it's all going to depend on outcomes. If your outcomes are good, you are going to be financially solvent. If you, as an institution, as an industry, your outcomes are poor, you will never be financially solvent. So it is our job, it is our business to make sure that not only from a financial perspective, if we keep our outcomes better, everything is revolving around outcomes. If you have good outcomes, everything else will fall into place.